Lately I've been thinking about the choices I have made and doubt the life I've chosen for myself I wonder how it would pan out if I'd stuck to the status quo and stayed in England Never know, but when I see my friends I see them with this golden glow It seems they can touch the rainbow I guess I'll never know, never know, never know Would that be me? If I'd stay in my city Red, blue and green Is that how my life would be? Is that how my life would be? And often we're reminded to enjoy each day and find it in ourselves to show some gratitude for every moment through and through I try so hard to just be present Mom will slip the adolescents I can't help but wonder But I guess I'll never Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you haven't seen my face before, hello, my name is Ebony and welcome to today's video. So for today's video, I thought I'd do a little cheeky update on my coffee situation. <laughs> and I say situation because it's been a journey, guys. And that is because I have pretty much captured my entire journey from start to now. Basically, I the, about this time, no, it might have been like earlier, maybe May, April, May, last year, I decided to invest in a coffee machine for myself during the first lockdown here in London. And I did this because I am a coffee drinker. I love a bit of coffee. It really helps me get my day going. I just finished a job where I was drinking a lot of coffee and I'd kind of gotten used to the effects that it had on my like mood, my productivity. And so I thought, look, I don't know how to make good coffee myself at home. I need good coffee. I want that coffee shop taste in the comfort of my own house. And the coffee shops were all shut. Um, so I decided to buy a Tasmo Vivi. I think it was the Vivi 2, Tasmo Vivi 2. And I did a whole video unboxing, doing a demonstration, doing a review. I talked about my coffee morning and yeah. The dream, the bubble was burst um, when I realized there were a lot of cons to having my Tasmo Vivi. I realized I wasn't really using it as much as I thought I would be. I kind of resented using it sometimes. Um, I bought a quite a, a quite a lot of packs of coffee to have and there was only a couple of the many packs that I bought that I even liked. That was the flat white and the, the caramel light, the Costa caramel lattes and the Kenko flat whites. I didn't mind those, um, but I really dis I disliked the taste of the milk pods that it comes with. If you didn't know, for the Tassimo, you have to um, use two pods. You do the coffee first and then the milk or the milk and then the coffee, um, but it's like two separate pods. You can't use your own milk. It has to be the milk in their pods. Oh, you can use your own milk, but that's not how you're meant to do it. <laughs> Although I did start using my own milk by the end, but you'll see why in a sec. Um, so yeah, I was using the milk pods and I liked the taste of the coffee generally from the Tasmo machine, but I didn't like the taste of the milk creamer that they had included in the boxes. And I realized that I started to use my own milk, but there was an issue with that, where I would put my milk in the microwave and I'd put it around and I'd, I'd go away, come back, and the milk had exploded in the microwave. It had congealed onto the glass tray. It was, it had a skin on it. And I would try to like whisk it with my electric whisk that was one pound from Tiger. It wasn't a good time guys and it would be so much more hassle than it was worth and I didn't even like the taste of it that much. I was like hoping for that coffee shop taste, that like luxurious expensive coffee shop coffee and that is not what I got and I know that when I first started looking I did want to really invest in an espresso but the ones I was finding were really expensive and I didn't know if I wanted to spend that kind of money um, on an espresso and so I went with the 52 again because it was like £40 and I thought oh I'm only dipping my toes in the water of coffee machine let me just get this one um, but yeah it turned out to not be a great investment because I've got an espresso now and that's what this video is all about so I picked up my own Nespresso cities 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 
I don't know how to say it, it's got a Z in it with a C in it, it's confusing. Um, but yeah, I picked up my own Nespresso, which I'm very happy about for a few reasons. This upgrade, this is definitely an upgrade. First of all, the coffee, the options that I have available to me are now so much more infinite than with the Tassimo. With the Tassimo, I think I could really only get it from the Tassimo website and a couple of supermarkets would stock them, but only like two types of flavors, um, any kind of like crazy flavor you wanted, you have to order it. and. Yeah, I just, I felt like although the options were quite wide, like they had hot chocolates and teas and all different types of coffees, it was just difficult to get a hold of. And if you did, you had to just live with the flavor of it. You couldn't really like, you couldn't find a better brand of pod. You just had to have the one that they had, um, which was either Costa, Kenko, or like another brand called like Jacobs or something like that. Um, whereas with the Nespresso, I finally was able to get, um, like the, try the Nespresso coffee, the Starbucks coffee, uh, the supermarket own brand, like cheaper, more affordable, um, their coffee, a lot of supermarkets cater to Nespresso machines, that's like the standard and then anything else is a bit fancy. And so I found that there were so many different ones I wanted to try, but they were only compatible with Nespresso, um, which is obvious because obviously Nespresso is the biggest coffee machine brand. But one of the main things, I really wanted to try this Grind coffee. Grind is a chain of coffee shops and restaurants, bar, they're kind of like bars. The one in Greenwich is amazing, I'm always in there. Um, but they have them all over London and I've always wanted to try their coffee pods, which are for Nespresso machines and they are compostable, so they are good for the environment. Unlike the Tassimo Vivi, which did have recycling points, a million miles away from where I live and the, it wasn't realistic that I was going to save those pods and go to a place to recycle them. I don't have a car and a lot of those kind of, they're like in like warehousey places where, I don't know, it was just, it was a lot. Um, so that was kind of like weighing on me a little bit because um, I do like to recycle. These grind pods are compostable and they are the house blend from the grind coffee shops. It smells incredible guys, <laughs> it smells so good. And they do refills so I can go in or order online. They actually do um, subscription service that you can get them sent to your house every however many times a month you want and you fill up, you refill the tin. Um, so very excited about that. Look at the Instagrammable millennial pink tin, it's so cute. Um, so yeah, I picked that up, that was like the exciting thing I got today, um, but when I actually got the machine I wasn't anywhere near a grind and I didn't think I was going to be for a while. So I went to Sainsbury's and I picked up these Starbucks capsules. Now that I have an espresso I just want to try all the different types of coffee I've been missing out on all this time. And so I got the house blend in the Longo and the uh, blonde espresso roast, which I don't think I'll have as an espresso because I don't really drink espresso. I drink like lattes and flat whites because I'm a basic. But yeah, I'm very excited to try those. And then I also, in Sainsbury's, picked up the Sainsbury's own brand because obviously that was one of the reasons why I wanted to get an espresso to be able to pick up like Aldi's own brand and Sainsbury's own brand. So I picked up a pack of the Longo coffee pods, which are a, three, a five intensity out of 12. And there's um, 30 in this pack, which is great. Um, very affordable. Now, I actually picked up my machine from eBay one of the best decisions I made, honestly, brand new, the Nespresso Cities, it's about, I think it's like 215-ish pounds brand new on the Nespresso website or on like Argos, and I found it on offer in Curry's PC World for 179 or something like that. On eBay, I managed to get it for 129 including shipping, and it came like a couple of days later, and it was so, it was in such pristine condition. I knew that from the pictures. It looked barely used. Um, it was in pristine, condi pristine condition, and it came with a ton of free capsules, so I was able to try it straight away. So I ended up getting a massive box of these, which is the Cafe Royal Switzerland Longo Forte. It's a strong, long coffee, which I've been using. And I, it also came with the thing that com it comes with when you order it brand new this Nespresso chocolate box of coffee with one missing so obviously this person realized they didn't want it after like one use and was like I'll sell it so I've got a really I got a really good bargain um, the best things about this machine the milk frother the milk frother not only can I use the milk frother to make hot froth cold froth with my coffees that I make with my pods but if you wanted to use frothed milk for whatever other drink you wanted to make like regardless of the coffee, like hot chocolate, um, a, la a latte, you can put vegetable milks in, nut milks in, like it's such a good little 
addition and it like works by itself. It's incredible. I love it. The actual machine itself is like an espresso. It's incredible. Um, and it just, it makes good coffee. It just, it does the job. It does what it says in the tin. Um, I almost looked into getting the Nespresso, the Nespresso Latissima Touch. The Nespresso Latissima Touch. The one with the milk thing on the front. I'm glad I didn't get that one because I saw a lot of bad reviews after I decided not to get that one. And, but yeah, the, the reason I got the one I got, the Cities, was because I did a lot of research. I did loads of research. I knew what I wanted, lattes, flat whites, milky, nice milky coffees, long coffees, um, Nespresso brand. That was kind of the criteria and I did a lot of research and I would highly recommend if you are a coffee drinker, if you like good coffee, you like to experiment with your coffee and you like it long with milk and you like the idea of having a milk frother, warm froth, cold froth, this is the one for you. Honestly, like, I'm so glad, I'm so glad I got it. So yes, I made sure to get some clips of me like setting the machine up. I did a bye to the Tassimo, hello to the Nespresso, little B-roll, I set up the machine, I cleaned it out, I did like, I think I did three plain water cycles before I actually started using it myself. I made sure to give it a really thorough clean when it arrived, but it was in really good condition already. Like it was so clean when it arrived. When I took it straight out of the box, it was like, nearly perfect just gave it a rinse over with some warm soapy water and I was good to go um, and I did so much research I watched so many videos I knew exactly how it worked I knew exactly how to set it up so I was just like fish bash bosh got lots of b-roll doing my first coffee and things like that and yeah I think that's everything if there are any questions about why I didn't want a Tassimo anymore what or like any anything I didn't answer or talk about in this video do ask in the comments because I see all my comments and I'll reply to any questions that you have um, yeah give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you got this far let me know down below if you have an espresso which coffee pods do i need to get because i am a newbie i need to be told like i knew i wanted to get the grind ones and i wanted to maybe try the starbucks but other than that i'm like i'm an open book so you like let me know if you know which of these i might like i like a nice milky sweet coffee i always put vanilla syrup in my coffee so out of these ones do you know which ones i should go for um i think any of the strong ones i'll save for guests because I don't like that strong of a coffee. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Subscribe down below for more videos from me. I'm gonna be updating my monthly vlogs with like taste tests. I might do a little cheeky morning coffee taste test um, for my monthly vlogs, which I do every month. I'm a little bit behind. I haven't uploaded June just yet, but there is a reason for that. I'm very sorry, but yeah i will from now on be doing like little coffee morning chats and stuff like that so yeah i'll do like a grind review i'll do a starbucks review i might do a little taste of an es of an espresso see if i could be converted uh, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye